Oh, there's our new friend. Guys, we got Peely. It's super exciting because he's now farming and doing stuff for me. And it's freaking Peely, dude. Look at him. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Episode 2 of the Minecraft Survival Series. We are at 9 out of 10 on our village level. And we have the upgrade available to us. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade those materials right away and get to a level 10 village so we can see what it's like. But also, just look at this place. Some off-camera work was done. Um, I built my first ever custom building. I'm using the same walls that are used in the Pleasant Park prefabs. But... I'm doing everything myself. So let's go ahead and just show you the village first off because I'm sure that's what you guys are most curious about. We got these double stairs that have this cool little like back and forth action. I really like the way this turned out and we got this center hub. I don't know what I'm going to do here yet, but this place is still so empty. There's so much potential and then you can go all the way to the top as well, but there's nothing up there. And this place right here actually brings me to one of the main points of today's video, which is how to build a nice little starter storage area. Because if you've played this game at all, I think everyone knows that the inventory system and the merging and just organization is really, really hard. I think that it's a common problem. I mean, I've been experiencing this nonstop, just looking in every chest for every single thing I have. But today I wanted to share with you guys what I have thought of as a solution to that, which is this little storage room. So looking around here, as you can tell, the chests are elevated on these little shelving units. But the cool thing is these shelves are actually fully functional and they carry an additional eight items. So all you got to do to get them is go over to furniture and then surfaces and scroll down to the very bottom it costs 12 wood to make one which honestly is a great deal and you basically just plop it down and then you have an eight unit storage it really will save you a lot of time i had a bunch of chests just scattered around this area earlier you could see it in my last episode but what i realized is yeah you just waste so much time going back and forth looking for things which you know i'm still doing right now so yeah little update on the newest building to our compound and then the top is also going to have a bunch of chests and it'll also have the little counters under them so yeah tons of room for storage here. I'm guessing that this will be able to hold anything that I need for a long time. And one thing that I'm not huge about in this game is that there's no item plates and there's also no like billboard so you can label stuff. That'll be a headache. I'm sure they'll add something like that eventually. But right now you just kind of have to throw things and remember where they are. But yeah, guys, it feels like now that I have my compound built, it's now time to start going crazy on the builds. And that's exciting to me. I do think I'm going to be streaming this game soon because I've been doing a lot of off camera work and it just feels like it would make more sense to stream it. So yeah, I'll link my TikTok and my Twitch if you guys want to follow them. I don't know if I'll stream. I probably will though. The game's been out for three days. Um, I feel like I've been taking my time with my village. I really haven't gone crazy on it yet, but you guys just stay tuned. Quick jump cut. I really want to get this village upgraded. We're one level off, which is actually the max level you can get for a village right now, which is 10. I keep saying right now, I feel like Lego Fortnite is going to add a bunch of stuff in the future, but right now it's level 10. And really all you get on level 10 is an extra villager, which is okay because villagers are OP, but we made an epic pickaxe. We still have our epic axe and we made a sword because we're a little bit short on obsidian. So need to get that. Also made myself two snowberry shakes so we don't burn. The desert has become very easy. The only other biome that I know of is the snow biome. And that one is definitely a lot harder. Okay, we found ourselves a cave. Let's go ahead and pop our shake and let's get it. This is the riskiest piece of obsidian I've ever mined for. I'm not even standing on the floor. All right, we got all the obsidian we need. I'm just gonna grab this chest right here. Oh, sand brute scale. That's good. Also got some blast core. Why not? Oh, shoot. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, I could do this. Oh, that would have been bad if I had no build. I love how as I get closer, the builds like actually build. That's so cool. Oh my God, it's Sky. Yo, I want her at my village. Wait, Sky's sick. Oh wait, I can't. I need to upgrade my village first. Oh, we are 100% doing that. Oh, my fault, Peely. Oh, my fault. What's up, dude? How's your job? Oh, and he just gives me berries. Bro, this guy's the goat. Here we go. 15 flex rods. We have everything else in our inventory already. So if we just go over here, we can go ahead and upgrade our village to level 10, which means we can now get Sky and our villagers are all going to cheer us on. I just told Sky that she could live at my house. So now I have to make her a bed. We're going to redo this whole situation here. This is so bad, but um, yeah, let's just put her bed down and go invite her. So let's go ahead and do this again. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So we got Sky, Keely, Meow Souls, Bright Bomber, and Roan. Is that a good squad? I don't know. Uh, I don't even know if some are better than others. Let me know if you guys have any insight on that. But I've heard that there are like rare villagers and I think that Peely is one of them. So definitely happy I snagged him. Look at this beauty. He just looks so good. He's literally floating right now. I showed off the storage room, although it's not done yet. So I think what our next journey is, is to get 
these grand chests because why do we not have the best chest i currently have is a large chest and i want one that stores 24 items because that's the same amount of stuff you carry in 6 12 yeah, 24. Okay. It's the same amount of stuff you carry in your inventory. The only problem is you need a lot of frost pine and a lot of iron bars, neither of which I have. And iron bars, I don't even know where they are, but I can only assume that they're in the mountain caves. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to go exploring. Spicy burgers are going to be big because we can't go freezing out there. Or we'll die. Oh yeah. Also, let's invite her to come with us now before I forget. Oh yeah. Also, I didn't show off the top of this building at the beginning of the video. This is why it's ugly. But if you look at it from the front, it's absolutely not ugly. It looks really good in my opinion. But yeah, I need to make more towers because it's um it's a little flat and empty still. This is actually going to be our first time exploring the snow biome. I mean, I've been there before, but the caves as well. I'm actually a little bit scared. Maybe I should have brought a shield that's fine oh my goodness here goes nothing i don't think it should be super hard to find a cave especially with a glider all i need to worry about is getting everything i possibly can i'm talking even like the shells of these things because i don't want to come back here very often all right there's one all right and there's two i think whatever tooth this guy drops will probably be good um yeah definitely definitely okay that's good to have is that the cave is that the cave that has to be the cave oh yes it is it's a cave just in time for the night so we don't have to stay out here but look at how far i had to travel for that that was insane okay we're going down into a cave we're gonna eat a spicy burger give ourselves 10 minutes and wish me luck if we die here i'm gonna be very very far and it's not gonna be fun to get back Ooh, and these caves look insane these are the most aesthetically pleasing looking caves for sure it just looks like a dark pit what happens when you oh interesting okay it's just very very dark in here but what we're looking for is an iron ore i can only imagine that it's here but i actually don't know because i haven't looked anything up speaking of it ha that has to be it what else would this be oh it's like blue though it could be something else either way all right i'll let sky kill her let's try this let's see what it is question is is that iron Oh, it's sapphire. Ow. If I had to guess, there's probably another ore type down here, though. I still think that there's a high possibility that there's iron here. Oh, wait, there's another ore right there. The original one that I was looking at is different. That one's like black. That has to be iron. Oh, yeah, this has got to be it. It's taking forever to break. Is it? It's iron. Let's go. Seven pieces from one little chunk. That's great. Wait, you can mine the icicles. Wait, what do they give you? Oh, granite. wait if that despawns i'm gonna be so upset what just happened okay i got kicked out oh it's the moment of truth we're loading back in let's see if we still have our stuff well i'm freezing and i can't see anything anymore there we go oh they're all gone everything's gone everything i just mined is gone Oh, that's annoying. How did that one hit me, dude? Oh my god, oh my god. How in the world am I supposed to? I gotta get back. I gotta get all the way back over there. That was just awful. The game kicks me out. I spawn in and I just die. Oh no, dude. Okay. Oh my god, I just... I literally just died again. I might be in the middle of losing all of my stuff, but there's always time for a pit stop to the supply drop. One thing I'm really curious about in this game is if I pick up one of these backpacks, does the other one disappear? Can you only choose one or can you pick up all of your dead loot? I, I'm not going to risk it because I have so much other stuff on my other kit. Okay we have made it back to the cave not even joking i think it was about 35 minutes of me running everywhere so basically if i die in this cave without getting my backpack or my backpack isn't there it's kind of wraps we're gonna be starting from scratch make sure we take this very seriously okay here we go we have everything in the right spot we're gonna go ahead and i'm freezing oh this is not good okay oh okay so i see these here this means i'm in the right cave oh i was down here oh my god it's my backpack oh my god it's right there we're gonna be jumping into a ton of stuff Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, we did it. We did it. We're fully back. Nothing to be worried about anymore. We got our loot and we are all set up. Time to get more of this. Whoa. Yo, I didn't even know there was cheese in this game. That's crazy. So as much as I would love to stay down here, I just realized we are in a predicament. I don't have anything else warm in my inventory. It's going to take more than six minutes to get out of this biome. I'm just being greedy right now, but I need to go. Oh, 
it's a butterfly i don't care how cold it is i gotta follow this thing wait i'm actually gonna eat the cheese i don't know what it does but i feel like i'm gonna die right now oh my god it basically filled my hearts wait where did the butterfly go oh it was right there this is this is not smart i shouldn't be doing this oh there's a there's a brute and there's two of these guys on me where are you there's a floating rock what the heck is that is that where it's taking me wait what's what is that okay i'm glad i followed this hold on we gotta oh we have a spot for it okay i'm so glad i fall what is this malachite oh malachite slabs okay interesting dude there's a brute right there <laughs> oh no dude oh no we we gotta go man we gotta go everything that can go wrong is currently going wrong oh no man we have one more pepper that's the last thing we have for heat protection we have two minutes to get out of here basically bro bro i'm dead i'm at half a heart oh my god i can hide in these right they don't kill me in this oh my god they don't kill you when you're in a bush. I went to half a heart. Holy dude. Oh, we are finally out. What a mission this turned out to be. We are back home though at our beautiful base, which definitely needs more building. So let me know in the comments actually what I should build next in this area. I'm going to be looking for suggestions. I feel like every single time I play this game, I'm getting new blueprints that are going to make things better. And then I'm just going to have to tear down everything that I built. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Anyway, let's unravel and and unpack here we got a ton of iron it looks like we got 91 iron we got some rough sapphire and then the most interesting thing out of everything was the thing that the butterfly took us to which is malachite not too sure what this does but it seemed really rare happy to have that with us but guys i think that's going to call it for episode two a lot of adventure in this one again let me know any suggestions for what i should build in this plaza gonna be reading all the comments and probably taking some suggestions but other than that it's been your boy kaz and i'll catch y'all later peace